I think when I was younger, my idea of going further was literally just trying to go bigger. Always trying to like push a little bit further and like always trying to do better. The problem in that scenario is there's a ceiling to it. You can only expect your body to, <laughs> to be up for that for so long. I feel like I got very lucky with snowboarding. My mom was the director of marketing at Waterville Valley, which was kind of like the epicenter of snowboarding back in those days. I think I was eight years old when I first started. The mountain was like my babysitter. A lot of the motivation that I have within snowboarding comes from my parents. They worked really hard to provide for us in the avenues that we were interested in. Not only my parents, but a lot of other people put a lot of energy and a lot of effort into helping me get to this place. So it's kind of my duty to others to like take it as far as I'm able to take it. In many ways, that work ethic helped create the career that I had, but in hindsight, I was so focused and so intense. I just kind of, I feel like I missed a lot. It feels like I was on like fast forward. And now I recognize where the negative sides of my ego kicked in and I pushed myself a little bit too far. Nowadays, I think I go about my snowboarding career in a different way where I'm trying to slow things down a little bit. Really appreciate that ritual of going up to the mountain. You know, making your coffee, you're getting your gear ready, you're going up, gaining elevation, and you're going up into the snow. It really is that portal of like, you're leaving real life and you're going up into the mountains to go play. That's uh, pretty special. Being a dad and being a partner, that's a whole nother all encompassing role it's this new challenge to reimagine my snowboarding career, but also recognizing that the job doesn't end at the end of the day. Like, the more important role starts when you get home. Especially with rainy, time is just moving so fast. So finding these opportunities to just slow it down a little bit and allow yourself to be a little bit more present is pretty special. I feel like snowboarding has provided great opportunities to have those moments, to have those connections with my daughter, to show her things that I love. I want snowboarding to be a part of my life for the rest of my life. So I think that these days for me, going further is in a different light and it's not so much about myself. Thinking about how can I pass this on to my daughter and how can we spread the snowboarding community further. Those types of things are what drive me at this point in my career. I'm just happy to be there, be present, and, and have a good time. 